It's a solemn day in Berwick and for the region. Longtime Berwick Bulldogs football coach George Curry has died. The coach touched many lives throughout his legendary decades long career. We have team coverage on his life and legacy tonight on Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Mark Hiller. And I'm Brittany Sweeney. Pennsylvania just lost its winningest coach. George Curry touched thousands of lives and brought his team to the top. That's right. Longtime Berwick Bulldogs coach Curry passed away from ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. AJ Donatoni is here with more on the life and legacy he leaves behind. Hey, AJ. Hey, guys. Uh, this is a major loss, not just for the football community, but really for the state of Pennsylvania when you think of what George mm -hmm. Curry has been able to accomplish. And Coach George Curry became a household name at Berwick High School during the course of his 46 year coaching career. He touched thousands of lives both on the gridiron and off it. Curry got his first head coaching job with Lake Lehman and also coached at Wyoming Valley West, but it's with the Bulldogs where he amassed the majority of his 455 wins, which is a Pennsylvania record. Along the way, Curry won six state championships, 1988, 92, and 94 through 97, four in a row. He also earned two mythical national titles. He became the face of Berwick, but to his players, he was something much more important, a role model and a leader. He was just much more than a football coach to myself and a lot of people. And uh, I mean, I, you know, I went on to play at West Virginia, and I really believe if it wasn't for Coach Curry, I would have never got a full scholarship to West Virginia. Um, he got me my first job. You know, if I needed anything, uh, he was there. When my father got sick, you know, he was the one who called me when I was at West Virginia to tell me that my dad was sick and it was important for me to come home. He was good to me and my family, and uh, um, I think there's probably several hundred guys who would line up right behind me and say the same thing. Well, we talked to some of those guys today, and it's true. Nothing but good things to say about Coach Curry. One of those is former NFL player Bo Orlando, who played under Curry at Berwick. He made the trip to town from Allentown today when he heard the news, and that's the kind of impact George Curry had. Coach Curry's impact on the community is far-reaching. He is credited with helping so many young people achieve a bright future. Eyewitness News lead I team reporter Andy Mahalshik is live in the control center with how his beloved community of Berwick is reacting. Andy? Well, AJ, very sad and detailed. People I spoke with today say George Curry, the coach, was Berwick. His legend goes well beyond the goal line and the hash marks. A perfect blend cafe in downtown Berwick is always a busy place during the lunch hour. On this day, there was talk of the loss of coach George Curry. It's very sad. He was a huge, influential person in a lot of children's lives. He helped a lot of kids get scholarships and just learn fundamental structure in life. So uh, he'll be greatly missed. Lauren Arts came in for a cup of coffee when he heard the sad news. I am shocked to hear about his passing, and uh, he meant everything to Berwick. He had uh, a lot of local fans, and uh, I think he's uh, provided opportunity for a lot of young men in this town and uh, their families, and uh, yeah, he certainly put Berwick on the map. And others say it was what Curry did off the field that really showed what he was really all about. The boys, the, the teens that he did, you know, getting them into college and, and always there for them to talk to and everything, I mean, he was a mentor to them. And while Berwick Bulldog football is always present somewhere in downtown Berwick, some say Curry was a symbol of the hard-working families who call Berwick home. And I really believe that he represented our community very well. Um, I know that he is loved by many people in the community, and I really think he made a huge contribution to Berwick. I had the great honor to cover George Curry for more than 30 years. He was always respectful and made himself available to all reporters. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for being with us tonight. I'm John Meyer. Julie Sedoni is off. The Bulldog is now at rest. Hundreds gathered today in the Berwick area to honor Pennsylvania's winningest high school football coach. But as is at his funeral, those who knew and loved George Curry remembered the six-time state champion for so much more than just his success on the football field. A crowd of people lined up on this cold, wet morning. Weather like this would never have kept these same people away from a Berwick football game in the fall. It certainly couldn't keep them away from saying farewell to Berwick's legendary coach, George Curry. He passed away Friday. He was a lot more than football. He, he was 
Mr. Berwick, <laughs> and indirectly Mr. Berwick. He, he would take the time to help anybody. He meant everything to Berwick, not just the football players. He meant everything to the other students that wanted help. He helped everybody. Everyone who came here to St. Mary's Church in the Berwick area had some Coach Curry connection. Some members of his last team filed in together. They are among a brotherhood of football players, past and present, who seem to know him best. And that was so much more than just a coach on the sidelines. Football was last. He cared about everything else, like your grades, how, how your day went. He, just, it was a lot more than just football. Friends say Coach Curry went to church here almost every day. And on this last time at this church, so many people came to say farewell and pay tribute to his mantra, God, family, then football. He blessed so many, you know, you know, and, and talking about being a Christian, he, he, he took everything he had and put it on everyone else and make me change lives in a positive way. Gus Felder was one of many former star players to return. The outcome we see here today, man, that was awesome. You know, I know he's sitting there smiling, looking at how many hearts he changed and guys couldn't make it out, but it was great to see all those guys come back. I feel very fortunate that I could get here and uh, and be a part of the day and, um, you know, just to, to humbly pay my respects to a great man and uh, wish my best to the family. Berwick superstar Ron Paulus felt he needed to be here too for the man who was much more than his coach. But the way he cared for the people, the way he cared for our families, the way he supported people that had nothing to do with football, um, that's what made him special and that's why um, that's why so many in town are here today.